Hey guys, Heidi Hill. So, I thought I'd start giving you a bunch more videos as I go, because, I don't know, I do a lot around here, and I thought I'd start sharing it. But, uh, I got this bale of hay here, and I bought it last fall for, we got one little billy goat left. And, uh, he doesn't eat much, but it was really cheap. I mean, there's a lot of hay being cut around where I live, and I bought this great big bale round bale of hay for 30 bucks last fall and I don't know he didn't eat very much of it so all of this is left and um, since I have animals I got chickens and ducks and a goat uh, nitrogen -y stuff for compost is real easy to come by for me but it's the brown stuff that I have trouble getting so I thought, uh, and yeah, I got a weedy around all of this stuff, but my weedy broke and I got to work on it. Maybe today, it's 6 o'clock in the morning and I got to go to work at 11 today, so we'll see how much I get done. And anyhow, there seems to be a big problem lately with, you know, weed killers in hay and straw. Here's a, I got to, uh, part of a, I got half of a bale of straw over by the garage and I'm going to use it for some bedding in the chicken coop because I got to clean it in the next few days and anyhow I was trying to figure out how to test for um, some uh, weed, whether there's weed killers in this stuff so um, I'm going to do an experiment and uh, show you guys and uh, so what I decided I'm going to do is uh, grab some from different spots around this bale. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Okay, so now I got a representative sample of this hay, and it's not good for feed anymore, but it'll make good compost if it doesn't have weed killer in it. Okay, we'll go back up by the house. Okay, so I don't know if you can see my face or not, but I got two representative samples here, just different places around. This is different places around the straw bale. A lot of people are straw bale gardening now, and I guess it's getting to be a real problem if there's uh, uh, weed killers in that straw. So, uh, let's see, here's the straw, and I've got two containers. Mayonnaise came in. And I'm gonna just take some of this, poke it in. Do the same with the hay. Well, that's probably enough. And I'm hoping this is a good way to find out if there's because some of that stuff is pretty persistent and if I put this in a compost pile and uh, compost it and then we wind up with weed killer in the garden they say sometimes that'll uh, uh, last in your garden soil for years and you can't grow anything so uh, that's the best way I could figure out how to test it for real cheap so I'm putting water in here and my camera is burning through batteries like crazy, so I'm going to try to figure something out. Alright, so I'm going to fill these up, and then uh, I'm going to let them soak f f all day long. So when I get home from work this afternoon, I'll uh, show you the rest of how this experiment is going, and, and uh, what I'm going to do. 
and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, onward and upward. I got about two hours left before I got to go to work, so I'm trying to hurry and get some stuff done. I got this bed in the garden here, and I had transplanted some strawberries in there, and I don't know, they're kind of spent. I may pull them and start fresh next year, but I never got the rest of the bed planted, and uh, I had landscape fabric over all this, and then I cut holes to put the strawberries in. And it worked really well. I mean, it cut down on the weeds, but uh, as you can see, there's there's no weeds at all in here, hardly. Uh, but I thought the landscape fabric would last at least a season, and it didn't. Um, it's not UV protected, but anyhow, I'm going to clean this bed up a little bit, rake it out and try not to go too deep and expose a lot of weed seeds and then I'm going to uh, plant some lettuce. Now this is what the middle of July and I've been following a guy by the name of Curtis Stone, the urban gardener. You, you can just search him up on YouTube. I'm not going to bother with a link but uh, he plants lettuce all summer long and just harvests it before it gets too big. So I'm going to try and experiment and see how that works and uh, I put some new mulch over on this side to suppress some weeds and uh, I don't know we'll see how it works um, and I'll give you updates as time goes by Okay, so that was a variety of lettuce called Black Seeded Simpson. Uh, it was last year's seed, so I seeded it pretty heavy. I'll have to thin it, I suppose, a lot. But I'm not too worried about uh, going through the seed because it was last year's and, you know, etc. We'll see if it germinates. But uh, anyhow, I've got plenty of Black Seeded Simpson seed. Uh, these came up in different spots in the garden this spring and we ate a bunch of lettuce off of it and it was all volunteer so I transplanted it to here and I went ahead and let it go to seed, to bolt and uh, yeah, I've got two kinds in here, Red Cimarron and Black Seeded Simpson and I am going to have a pile of lettuce seed. Okay, next project. Time's running. I got to collect. I, I got to. I'm, you know, my my goal is to eventually sell a little produce, uh, even if I can make a couple hundred bucks a season, because we're really poor people, and even a couple hundred bucks a, in a summer would really help us out. So. Uh, I've got some early girl tomatoes right here and they're just starting to get ripe and I sold my first dollars worth to a co-worker so I'm going to harvest those and take them with me today. Okay, you guys, so here's how this uh, experiment's going to work, and I'm in a hurry because I know this video is getting really long. I don't know if you can see my face or not. I've got three recycled cottage cheese containers here. Uh, I've drilled a hole in the bottom of all of them for drainage. Uh, this one's marked uh, with a Sharpie straw. This one has hay written on it, and this one is the control. I'm going to plant 
radishes in all three of these. This is some good potting soil that I know is good. Uh, radishes have 21 days to harvest, so that's the fastest thing I could think of so I can get through this and then start using this stuff if I can. So <clears throat> I'm going to plant radishes in all three of these. i got to find a couple more trays for these others because I'm going to keep everything separate. This one's my control. I'm only going to water it. The truck going by. Hold on. I'm only going to water the control with tap water. I'm going to use these uh, jugs of water that we made with the straw and hay in them to water these two. Okay, hay for hay, straw for straw. I'll be able to find out if there's weed killers in this water because if these radishes don't come up and flourish, I'll know that one of these has herbicides in it. If the control doesn't grow, then I know there's maybe a problem with the seed or maybe I didn't water right or something like that and hopefully not because I don't want to have to do this all over again. I'll give you guys updates at a week and again at two weeks and we'll go from there. In the meantime we'll get through this and I'll see you next time.